Hello, here we are back in my kitchen after uh, a couple of months off. Uh, we have a bunch of tomatoes from our garden and we are going to make some tomato sauce. Uh, I don't know if you guys are like me, but when you plant stuff in the garden, usually I plant like one or two tomatoes and then I ended up with way too many tomatoes to know what to do with. So uh, can't eat enough sandwiches, use them up. So we're going to make some tomato sauce. So I'm going to show you guys how to process these, break them down. Uh, I already have a little bit of prep done over here. Uh, some of the stuff that will go into our, uh, our sauce. Uh, so, we'll get going. Uh, first, we want to take the, the core out. And I have this little tomato shark that I'm going to use. And I'm just going to do a few of these. I'm not going to make you watch me do all of the tomatoes. But I'm just going to pop the stem out, some of these larger guys, with our tomato so you can see this thing. And then we'll do we'll do five. How about that? We'll do five of them. Some of these are a little better than others. Okay, so we took the uh, the core out of all of those, and then we're gonna take a paring knife uh, and we're gonna make a little X on the bottom. We're not trying to cut all the way through this tomato. We're just making a little X on the bottom. And then I have some water boiling behind us. And actually this would be a lot easier if we just use the right tool. So, little X on the bottom. And I don't really want to cut into the flesh. I'm just kind of breaking the skin there. Okay, so. We have these, I have an ice bath over here. I have some water boiling over here. Uh, so we're gonna take our tomatoes and we're just gonna drop them in our boiling water uh, for just about 30 seconds. Okay, so we got those in. Can you sing a song? We need 30 seconds, go. Oh, that was the short version of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Scott, we have a, 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 a cold water bath here. So we're going to take these tomatoes out of this uh, hot water and drop them in here. Uh, I'll drop them. It's dangerous. While we're waiting on those other tomatoes, I'll go ahead and get some of these cord. Stirring it. Waffles got your face mask. I'm just, I don't care. You don't care? <laughs> I'm glad I spent money on that. For you to not care. Alright. So back over here. So you can see our tomatoes. You don't have to zoom, just leave it. I can zoom in manually. Okay, so with our tomatoes, you can see the skin is starting to peel. We're gonna drop those into our cold water bath here. Leave it, please. Give them, give them a stir, okay? Just stir them in there. They are. They're in a bath. Yeah. Okay, so we got these in here. Dirty. Yes, they're dirty. Uh, oh, they're dirty. Perfect. So we have our tomatoes in our ice bath. And this the whole purpose of this is just to knock the heat out so that we can actually get these all cleaned up. So then you can see the skin where we do that little X on top just comes right off of here pretty easy. And we'll throw that into our scrap bowl over here. Yeah, use the big one. I need a bowl for, actually, you know what? I'm going to throw those in here. Thank you. All right, so we'll get all these peeled up. I got a whole bunch to do here, and then we will start throwing our sauce together.
What are you doing? Eating ice. Mm. Okay. These in here. Mm -hmm. But let me, but and then let me catch them. Yeah. Well. Okay. Yeah. You can catch them. Mm -hmm. And then and then I will put it right then. Then you can get it. Whoa. Where are you going? I'm going to get my mask. Why? Good. I need your help. You're not putting it on, are you? Here, I need you to give me tomatoes so I can peel them. So can you back up just a little bit, Cameron, so that... When she hands me the tomatoes, we can like see how easy they peel. Okay, that's exactly what I wanted. Take a picture inside this bowl. Hey, hey, Scarlet. We're all done with this step, okay? Well, now we have to get our tomatoes. We got to clean up. Here, you record me, and I'll tell everybody what we got to do. Okay, so we are uh, all peeled with our tomatoes. So we're gonna get everything cleaned up. And then uh, we'll get our uh, Dutch oven out and we'll start uh, making sauce. We'll be back in a minute. We are all cleaned up and ready to move on to the next step. Uh, we have, uh, as you saw, our tomato uh, skinned, uh, peeled. Uh, I'm leaving them whole. You can dice them up at this point if you want as well. I also have my mise en place over here. I've got uh, some assorted veg and uh, spices that are going to go into our sauce. I have our, uh, our pot ready to go. I'm using a potato masher. I'll probably also use an immersion blender toward the end to get this all, uh, all smoothed out. So we'll get you a better view and we'll show you the process. Make sure before you start cooking this that you get some of the seeds out of there. Some of these tomatoes have a few more than others. Let's see here. So we'll just try to remove some of those seeds that will end up in our sauce. You don't have to be perfect to get every single one, but try to get most of them out of there. Put these in our pot here. And basically what I'm gonna do is just, I have this masher, potato masher. I'm just gonna kind of crush these up. And once we get a little bit of a simmer going here, I'm gonna add in my other uh, veggies. I didn't do oil or anything like that because I'm gonna actually can some of this because we're not gonna be able to eat up all this uh, tomato sauce by ourselves. So uh, I got some jars. We'll do some little uh, pint jars of tomato sauce so we just have it on the ready here. So we're gonna bring this up to a simmer uh, and I can actually see it on the edges there. Starting to simmer a little bit and 
then we'll add in our other veggies. And then this is a, a kind of a, a bit of a process. It's gonna take about, uh, I don't know, probably 30 minutes to really soften everything up here. And then, as I mentioned before, I'm gonna use my immersion blender and I'm gonna just puree this down into a nice smooth uh, sauce. I don't want big chunks. You can leave chunks. If you want like a chunky sauce, you can do that. Uh, but I don't want that. So I'm gonna smooth this out. I've got small children that uh, don't like texture. Onions, celery, carrots. Got some uh, little herb blend there and some garlic. What is uh, onions, celery, and carrots? You might remember this from foods one or two. Three, two, one. The answer is mirepoix. All right, we're gonna get our veggies in here. Let's start with our onions. Let me hand that off to you. So I've got about a cup of onion. Two thirds of onion. Two thirds of celery. It's not a true mirepoix. Mirepoix is 50%, 25 and 25. We have a little bit higher uh, celery and carrot than normal. Uh, so we got all these in here. I don't know what I like. All right, let's keep stirring this up. I'm gonna also get my, uh, my little spice blend in there. And then I have a little bit of lemon juice that I'm gonna add a little bit later toward the end. All right, so we're gonna get this in here, let this simmer. We're gonna turn our heat down uh, to a low simmer and let this go. I'm gonna put a lid on it. I don't know that I need my masher anymore. So we're gonna put a lid on this. I'm gonna get everything kind of cleaned up and then we will check back in on this in just a couple of minutes. See you soon. All right, so we're gonna do a little check-in on this. We've been going, whoa, about Five minutes. So you see those tomatoes are really starting to soften up. Just keep stirring this. Again, we want these tomatoes to really kind of break all the way down. Uh, and we want our carrots and our celery and our onions to be really soft because I'm going to puree this. Uh, and the softer that those are, the smoother they will puree. All right. All right, so we are gonna check back in on our sauce. Whoa, my lens just fogged up. There we go. All right, so we are about 15 minutes in on this sauce. Uh, everything is starting to kind of break down real nice. Uh, we still have a few larger chunks of tomato there. Uh, again, we're just low and slow on this. You don't wanna rush it because you don't wanna cook off all of your all your moisture. I just really want to kind of soften this stuff up. Okay, so I'll uh, give that a little stir. I'm actually going to turn my heat up just a little bit. It's going a little bit too low for me, but I want just a gentle little uh, boil there. So think of the Jurassic tar pit, right? And we want those little slow, gentle boils. All right, so we'll let that go for another, I don't know, five or 10 minutes, and then we'll get out the immersion blender and give this a little puree. Uh, and we'll go from there. All right, so we have got our sauce. I'm trying to fog up the lens again. We've got our sauce going. I'm gonna add my lemon juice. Give that a little stir. I also have some lids over here because I'm gonna can some of this. I don't know that I'm going to show a video of that. It's kind of a boring process. But uh, we'll get this little stir. And then I have my immersion blender here. And we're going to leave our heat on. And we're just going to start to puree this up. Cut 
up my heat. All right, so here we are at about 35 minutes, uh, and we pureed and let it uh, go for just a few more minutes. I'll probably leave the lid off. Uh, I'll probably leave the lid off. It's a little bit thin, so I'll let this reduce down. And that leaving the lid off, whoops, leaving the lid off will allow some of that extra uh, steam to escape. So I want to thicken this up. We're gonna let this go for probably about five or six more minutes. Um, we'll be ready to roll. All right, sauce is done, uh, pureed. With the immersion blender, I let it go for about another five or six minutes, and then I took the lid off, give that a stir, and just let that kind of reduce down. So you can see we got a good, uh, good sauce here. Uh, no big chunks, no, uh, no scorching or anything like that. So we got a great sauce. We'll get this all jarred up and processed and ready for its next adventure. See you next time.